Hey everyone, it is Acts in August, day two. We left yesterday with the encouragement to wait on the Holy Spirit. And today we see what happens when the Holy Spirit comes down. These people are speaking in languages they've never spoke before and they can understand each other. They're speaking God's word to each other in ways that everyone can understand. And there's so much power in God's Spirit to the point that people are asking, are these guys drunk or what is going on here? But after God's Spirit comes on to these people, I want to encourage you, it's the same Spirit that each and every one of us have living in us today. After that happens, we see someone ask, what do we do with this? What now? And Peter says, if you want to receive this Spirit, uh, repent and be baptized, and, and you will get this free gift of the Holy Spirit. And after that, there was 3,000 people's lives changed forever and saved, and we see the impact of that in their community. In their community, people start giving to the poor. They take care of people in ways we've never seen before. And I just see this and think, what if our community could be like this today? What if we lived on mission for Jesus and we saw our communities repent, be baptized, receive the Holy Spirit, and live in such a generous way? I wanna encourage you today, read through the end of Acts chapter two once again, and think about what could Harrison County be like and every county in our area be like if we live this way.